So once you've finished your practice paper and you've gotten it approved by the teacher, you can start shading and highlighting your final snowman. I already did one of the snowballs down here and now I'm gonna move on to the, the middle one, the medium sized one. So again, you're using that kind of crescent moon banana line. So you get the curve of the snowball I pressed a little harder towards the outside and then lighter towards the middle of the snowball. I'll blend it in with one finger, not my whole hand, making sure that I'm staying in the lines with my finger. Your finger controls where the chalk pastel goes. Then I can do the blue, so I'll go over on this side, a little darker towards the edge, and pressing lighter towards the middle. A little goes a long way with the blue, so just do a little bit at a time. You can always go back and add more. I'm going to add a little more white right here, maybe blend it with the blue a little bit. You can even swirl it around in the middle. Make sure that you don't have a line going down the middle of your snowball. Now when you get to a snowball that has some crayon around it from your coloring, just kind of color your best around the crayon so I can still add some white to the face of my Bob Ross snowman here, blending it in. The crayon will resist the chalk pastel somewhat, so if you accidentally go over some of it, that's okay. Also, you can go back and color over with the crayon if you'd like if you feel like you can't see it the best anymore. So I'm gonna go in with the blue now on the shadowed side, blend it in, maybe add a little more white right here. Now when you finish with your snowman, you can do the snow on the bottom down here. To fill in the white, I use the side of my chalk so I can fill in a big area at once. So I'm gonna do up to the horizon line. Make sure that you're going around your snowball. And I'm filling the large area. Blend it in. You can use two fingers for this if you want since it's a larger area. Stay below the horizon line. Then after you blend in your white snow, you might wanna go back and add a little more in some places. But with your blue chalk pastel on the shadowed side of your snowman, you are going to add a shadow in the snow. So I'm gonna hold my chalk pastel on its side and I'm going to very lightly kind of draw a circle with it. It should be touching the base of your snowman. And it can be pretty big. I could even do a second one over here. What we're doing is creating the shadow of the snowman from the moon. Then you wanna blend that in. And you're done. Make sure that you don't touch anywhere else on your paper with your chalky fingers. Wash them before you touch it.